Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm an educator for the St. Louis Zoo. And I'd like to help you discover what animals are living near you. Now, when you look out your window or go outside, you might see some animals. Awesome! But sometimes you might not see any at all. Now, how do you know that they're still around even if you can't see them? Are there signs you can look for? Yep. I wonder if we can think of some of those signs together. Hmm. Oh, in the ground, you might see tracks. So impressions from animals' feet left in the mud or sand, and you know that they've walked by. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, you know, this one time I was walking in the woods and I came upon some tall grass. And I noticed that part of the grass was trampled down and smushed down flat. You know what it was? Deer had slept there in the night. So then that told me that, wow, this place is lived in by deer. That's super awesome. Cool. Hmm, something else. Oh, we might even find some scat. If you're unsure what scat is, it's animal droppings from when they went to the bathroom. Maybe we'll find some scat today. So I'm lucky and I get to call the space behind me part of my backyard. So I'm going to take you with me and we're going to see what signs of animal life we can find together. Today we're going to focus on mammals. So animals with fur, a backbone, and babies that drink milk. All right, let's go see what we can find. On my adventure to find signs of animal life, I chose to come by the creek because all animals need water, right? So you're most likely to find signs of life here near the water. And I was victorious. I found something super cool. Are you ready to see? Whoa, look at those marks. I'm gonna put my hand up next to it so you can see how big it is. Man, so look at these. These are little, little marks in the tree. So they're smaller than what you would make with like a big axe if a person was trying to chop a tree down. These are little marks. Some of them are pretty big, but there's also little tiny marks in here too. Any ideas of what animal would have made that? What furry animals like to chew on trees? Ready to find out? Beaver! There's a beaver living around here that wanted to eat some of the bark of this tree and probably use the tree to make his beaver lodge in the creek. That's super cool. Beavers are rodents. They're furry, a big flat tail to use to pack down the mud to make their lodge. Maybe we can find some of their tracks later. Let's keep looking and see what we can find. I found some more signs of animals. I found tracks in the mud. I'm gonna let you take a look, see if you can figure out what animal they're from. All right, here's a look. So, any ideas? I know that animals like horses and the zebras we have at the zoo have hooves that are U-shaped like this, and it's one hoof. But other animals like our bantang at the zoo or this animal here has a hoof that's split down the middle, so it'll make tracks like this. These tracks came from a white-tailed deer, the deer that we have here in the United States that run around with their split hooves. Super cool. Isn't that neat? So I know that there are deer here. Awesome. Let's see what else we can find.
I found more signs of animals tracks down by the water on a different part of the creek. Let's look. Little hand prints. Now once you start learning tracks, you'll learn which animals make little hand prints like that. These are from a raccoon. Isn't that cool? So raccoons really like to rinse off their food and water. And here we are right next to a creek. I've had so much fun looking for signs of animal life together. So far we saw beaver teeth marks on a tree by the creek and deer tracks in the mud through the middle of the woods. And on the other side of the creek, raccoon footprints by the water. Oh, and guess what? Behind me is a deer trail from where deer have run back and forth through the woods. This is so much fun. I hope you find some really awesome signs of mammal life near you. So be safe, have fun, and I will see you next time. Thank you.